question is i read the sentence if you exist you exist as something it is nonsensical to say that i am but i am nothing so can you say elaborate when you say ki it is nonsensical to say i am i am but i am nothing the so same thing nothing yeah that same thing that i just mentioned in context of his question whenever you say you are you are always referring to you as someone you are sometimes a father sometimes a seeker sometimes a male hmm? sometimes a respectable person sometimes an employee sometimes an hindu sometimes many things put together you are never just you you are always you along with something when you are just you that is called the state of aloneness but we are never just ourselves we are always with something our existence is contingent on something if nothing else we start saying i am peaceful and if you want to be more refined you start saying i am nothing that's why i have taken this up even when you say you are nothing you have unnecessarily attached yourself to nothingness what is the need to be nothing i always am are you sure yes i have an experience of not being you always are but that then which you call as yourself is always contingent on something outside of you is it not but it's like this like out of all these things i i am i don't know how it's just i am i am separate from all these things uh, no no i am one with all these things a few of these things the sense of i am is always sticking to something in particular that particular thing keeps varying hmm? i call the i am sense a free radical is a free radical in chemistry you have these ions that are highly reactive highly reactive and highly unstable they always want to quickly get associated with something so if you put them in any kind of solution they will find something or the other to get attached to that is the nature of the sense i am it cannot tolerate its loneliness so it find hmm? why is it so because it is lonely what because because it is lonely the i am sense is indeed lonely so it finds something to give it company what does it find it finds a new hairstyle it finds a new party it finds a new tv show it finds a new life partner it finds a new scripture it finds a new hobby or passion it must find something to give it company it is terribly lonely but not indeed hmm? but not indeed not indeed no. not indeed it does not exist if you are talking of indeedness then indeed this i am does not exist because this i am is hardly ever separate from the object that it gets attached to that is why there is identity what else is the meaning of identity identity means that if you get attached to the body then you are the body it is not that you are body plus something else then you are the body go into the moments of your body identification in those moments are you anything apart from the body when an object attracts you hmm? let's say a gold piece 
and the gold piece has totally dominated your mind are you anything apart from the gold piece at that moment that's the thing about the i am sense the i am sense is a misnomer you call it i but it does not exist as anything separate from the world i am entitled to call myself as i only if i am first of all separate from this chair right i must have some kind of individuality for me to address myself as i the i am has no individuality the i am has only dependency it has to be dependent on something or the other you take away the things it is dependent on it starts squealing give me this give me that have you seen what happens to people who are just out of a relationship hmm just had a breakup do you know what the man now does on the rebound he moves into another relationship because he cannot tolerate that void that is the nature of i am the i am is a big void and this void is intolerable something must be there to fill it up and that which fill it fills it up is what the i becomes that which fills it up is what the i becomes so if the void is filled by a husband then i am quickly becomes a why I don't exist. And even to say that is an exaggeration. What can you say about yourself? Uh, let's go to sleep. That's the max you can say about yourself. It's the most boring topic, yourself. What what more to say about yourself? Why must you be interested in saying anything about yourself? you don't exist the topic on which you want to hold forth does not exist what is the point in saying anything but to go off to sleep but there is an existence of what moving itself there is existence in this existence what is that which you call as i does this have any reality existence is there all right but what about you where are you and till the time you keep on dreaming yourself up what do you know of existence maybe you should ask babies oh babies come out of us so they carry a lot of our own inclinations could babies drop from the sky they would have been really innocent unfortunately they come out from our own bodies so they carry a lot of our filth even at the time of their birth babies are innocent but only relatively yeah so relatively they are better relatively 